Hey guys, this is Josh from Drone DJ, and today we're going to be taking a look at DJI's new flyaway coverage for the Mavic Air 2 and Mini 2, and more importantly, how to activate it. So let's get into it. Flyaway coverage has been added to DJI's Care Refresh service, meaning those of us who have already purchased it will enjoy the benefits of this welcomed addition. Once you have flyaway coverage, you can apply for a replacement unit for the fraction of the retail cost of a new drone. For the Mini 2, it will cost $225 and for the Mavic Air 2, it's a little more at $399. You will be able to use the flyaway coverage once per year provided you have DJI Care Refresh or Care Refresh Plus. The way I understand it is that DJI will send you a new or a refurbished drone that is like new in the case of a flyaway. To prevent people from exploiting this new flyaway coverage, DJI will look at flight logs to ensure the drone did actually fly away and then make a decision if they want to go ahead and provide you with a replacement drone. From the sounds of things though, it seems like DJI is happy to replace your drone as long as you pay the fee. Now you might be asking, how do I bind the drone to my account to activate the coverage? So let's get into that. To get this working, it's pretty simple. You will need the drone, controller and mobile device with the DJI Fly app installed. So to get started, you turn on the controller and drone like you usually would. You then go into the DJI Fly app. As you can see in the latest version of the DJI Fly app, there's a prompt to bind your drone right from the home screen. You can click that and do it from there, but in this video, I'll be showing you how to do it if you weren't to get the prompt. From the home screen, you want to click on the profile button. To bind the drone, you hit the bind button and you're taken to an info screen with what exactly binding the drone to your account means. You can read through this and once you're happy with it, click next. You'll now see a confirmation screen with your email address and the drone's serial number. Just make sure these two things are correct and then you can hit confirm and the drone is now bound to your account. It may seem that you're done at this point, but you're not you now have to bind the controller to your account as well. To do this, simply click on the value added service tab where you can see the replacement service status of the drone and the remote controller bind button. You wanna click on this button, read the different set of information from the drone and once you're happy with it, click confirm. You'll now be taken to a confirmation screen that shows your email address the drone's serial number and the controller's serial number. Make sure these are all correct again. Click confirm and wait a few seconds and you're good to go. If you have any other questions about DJI's new flyaway coverage, leave them in the comments below and we'll be sure to answer them shortly. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.